Hey, be there in a second. this a little closer uh, all right so uh hi we are here to uh hopefully finish up legend of zelda basically all we have to do is uh beat death mountain i actually did print i actually printed a, a guide for it too just to make it a little more straightforward because it's easy to get lost in there and um yeah so uh, a couple things before we get started. Uh, we are streaming for Extra Life, as always. Um, please check out the overlay for the link to our Extra Life page. Uh, in 2018, we raised $185 for Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Uh, it'd be pretty swell if we could start raising some money this year, too. So please do uh, consider donating. Um, other things. A uh, new podcast episode out next week. Um, it is recorded. I just need to edit it, and I I won't yeah you know, over the weekend all of time. I won't have time tomorrow. Uh, I think that's it. So all right, let's play some Zelda. Oh yeah, this is loud. Hold on. The switch is very loud. So, load. Uh, okay. So. Oh, whoops. We need to get up to Death Mountain. Wait. Are we missing a Triforce? What didn't we do? What didn't we do? Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't do level 8. That's right. Why did I think we were done? Uh, oh, whatever. So we still gotta do, um, level 8, and then... Uh, which is up here. Right, isn't it? It's up. Up and over. And this isn't it, but... Yeah, we can use those bombs. Actually, what is up here? I forget. Oh. No, because that's level, uh, is that two or three? That's two. Here it is. All right. Let's get through this. Oh, gee, thanks for the coins. In fact, we're going to use some bombs. Let's 
kind of the easiest way to do this. And so, once you have the book, uh, what that lets you do is use that guy. And, uh, I wish Sarah was here to do the fireworks well. Actually, speaking of the Switch and medieval RPGs, you know, Dragon's Dogma is coming to Switch, but also, I guess it was announced that Baldur's... I saw this online, I guess there's been an official announcement, that Baldur's Gate, um... All the Baldur's Gate games are coming to the Switch, too, which is, um... Very cool. I own them on the... I guess I have them on Steam. Uh, I think I'd, I'd rather play them. I never play Steam. <laughs> like, I just don't. I have it set up on my laptop, and I just, I just, I don't know. I don't like playing games on my laptop. I like playing games on the big screen, actually. Yeah, I don't play my my switch that often portably all right we got a bomb up yes get him Give you a key, so I'm assuming we're going this way. That does seem a little obvious, right? generous with the um, stopwatch drops. Thank you. 
Ooh, another stopwatch. Apologies if we can hear Puzzle uh, snoring in the background. He's uh, sitting in one of his beds. His bed that he usually doesn't sit in, which is interesting. Tenth enemy has the bomb. Heart container and final try first. Man, that level's easy. Huh. Huh. I don't know. I remember that level being harder than that. <laughs> Oh, wait. Or is this not that in the second quest? I can't remember now. Yeah, maybe it is. We should, um... We should trim the second quest at some point. I've only ever beaten the second quest twice. Uh, once back then, uh, with uh, some help from a friend, and then, uh, I was in... What was I? I was in grad school. I beat it. In grad school, I was replaying a lot of old games at night. That'd be like my wind down. And I would pick. Every semester, I would kind of go through a series. So, Zelda, I did Final Fantasy. And, and over a summer, I played a whole ton of Final Fantasy games. And Castlevania one summer. I would just, you know, play them all uh, at night. A lot of those playthroughs kind of became inspiration for the podcast, too. Um, we go right, I think. Maybe. Oh. No, it's... Oh, yeah, that's right, it's pointing. <laughs> yeah, I go the other way. Fair enough. Well, I wish Lionel's went down in uh, Breath of the Wild like that. Jeez. I forget which one it is. Oh, they're just letting you in. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess because I have all the... Yeah, so, yeah, the guy's gone because you you have, um... You have all the Triforce pieces, so... There's no reason for him to be there. Actually, let's go out real quick. We'll go back in. I want to get uh, some potions. Which are around here somewhere, right? Is this hopefully this is one. Yes. I thought it was.
Yeah, because there's usually there's a dude here who says, you know, basically you can't go through unless you have the Triforce. Which is weird, because why would Ganon have just, like, some guy hanging out there? Or allow that? Um, because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. This goes back to my, um, old Castlevania 2 question about the people who sell the laurels. Like, why? Right. Go north. Bomb left. Person with the Lumo is there very fast millipedes, but they aren't too hard. Say it far away, you can hit them with thrown sword or wands. This is the last place this is the first place where the Okay. Yeah, these dudes are fast. Actually, let's switch to the wand. Magic wand's awesome. That playthrough I did in grad school, I, I tried to get the wand as early as I could. Like, once I could access that level, you know, I was just all over it. Because that thing rules. Yeah, puzzle snoring over there. I can hear him. We woke up early, so he's tired. Well, he woke me up. More like. Some like likes, don't worry, stay as far then go right. I love the music in this level too. The first time someone in my neighborhood got to this level, the music came on and it, it's sort of so like ominous sounding and we were all like free even he he was usually pretty cool under pressure and he was kind of freaking out too. That like, oh, you know, we're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna do this. Alright, cut through. Patra. Lower door. Yeah, that dude's annoying. my way. I just want to bomb. Damn it. <laughs> bomb up again. Let's actually try to kill him. Oh. Just to see if we can get some hearts. I don't want to use my potion yet. Those Patros are so annoying. Alright, whatever. Whoa, okay. Uh, bomb up again, now we do indeed the fight! Oh, oh no! Oh. Alright, we gotta get back to where we were. So, uh, let's see if we can do this from memory. Left. Like 
athletics. Go right. run for it. I use my potion in a second. Things that take away your sword are so annoying. What's the wizard robe level? It's level six. That level um, absolutely just like ruined me. Yeah. So here's the red ring. becomes red, which makes him pretty tough. Uh, so he gets red wing. Yeah, you pretty much need it. Backtrack to the first patch room. All right, so down. Try to dodge, go up, and then bomb left. Oh, up, like, okay. I get it. Go to the next room. robes too is even with the master sword they're still tough so if you ended up getting there earlier than that which i think was what back in 1989 i'm pretty sure that's what happened go downstairs from the Herculoids. So go one. Wait. This Patro we must kill.
you know, I gotta say, Ganon, um, in designing these dungeons, left a lot of easy to bomb holes. Ah, silver arrows. Alright, it's go time now. go up. Man, I love I love that magic wand. It's so cool. guys though. Hey look it was a couple hearts. fight them all. Rooms. Bob 
bomb left. Stairs. Oh, yeah, this is it. Just to make this easier. this Hey, Extra Life for Kids! You just got here, uh... Yeah, thanks. Uh, you just got here to see the end of Legend of Zelda. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, 185, we'd, um... We'd, uh, set a goal for 100 and, uh, pass that, uh, you know, fairly significantly through, um, the efforts of, uh, some people in the stream, and, um, uh, a lot of people at my job. Uh, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia? Um, and, um, uh, the, you know, as the story goes, you know, one of my friends in high school spent a lot of time in Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. She had some, um, kidney issues, and we went out there to visit her. She missed a lot of school. Um, she'd be there for, you know, weeks at a time, and we would go out there, um, once people started getting their driver's license, we would drive out to Philadelphia, which was probably about, eh, 45 minutes from us, and, you know, for being a bunch of, you know, idiot punk rockers, they, everyone there really treated us really well, and they treated her really well, too, and so, um, when the opportunity to do something for Extra Life came about uh, last year, uh, I found out through uh, Greg Stewart's streams. Uh, I jumped on it, and I immediately thought of um, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia as something that I would want to um, do things with. And so, yeah, so that's kind of how I got here.
And so, you know, streaming a couple nights a week and, you know, mostly retro games, but sometimes new stuff. Yeah, not a problem. You know, always happy to, to do so. So, they put the, um, the Triforce in Ganon's dust. Which is such an odd look. And you end up in second quest. get to the probably the most iconic moment in history of video games by far and you're kind of you know starting over and everything's in well most things are in kind of different places and, and whatnot as I was saying earlier I've only beaten this version uh, a couple times But we'll mess around with it for a little while. So, I don't know what's over here. I don't know if it's still, I forget if it's still level one or not. It is still level one. So immediately you've got, you know, harder enemies coming at you. And those uh, Staphlos start shooting stuff coming up here. See, they start shooting their swords at you. And uh, thanks for the follow, too. I really uh, appreciate that. So, I think that's going to be it for, uh, oh, whoops.